Hi, Devon Digital here, and I'm here to give you an update on my Pixel 6, not the Pro. And have I had any bugs, any glitches, or any problems? Have battery changed, got it better, got it worse, blah, 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 blah. Let's go into that. Ba, 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 ba. All right, first thing I wanna say is that, yeah, I got a little crack on my Pixel up here. Okay, all right, now it's just a screen protector, but man, whoo, yeah, I'm about to rip this off today and go ahead and put a fresh one up there because I can't stand looking at it. It's definitely a little crack up there. I don't know how I got it, keys in the pocket maybe, got a little dangerous, gotta stop that. Anyways, yes, I did end up having a bug, or a bug, I, I don't know. I don't like to say it's a bug, I mean, but it's a bug, right? Uh, everybody knows that software isn't perfect, and you know, whenever somebody report a bug, everybody wanna blow it up and act like it's happening to everybody's phone and blah, 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 blah. So I did post it, and turns out that it happened to maybe a few people, not many. Other people got different bugs, some people have none, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, my notification shade, when I was pulling down, it wouldn't pull all the way down like this, like it's doing now. What happened was it was just stuck right here. I was going whoop, whoop, and it just stayed stuck right there and it wouldn't move. Yeah, so I restarted the phone and it fixed itself or whatever. So no, not a big deal. Is it anything that I tripped about? No, I didn't trip about it. And you know, somebody told me that I could have just locked the phone and unlocked it and it would have worked. So next time, if it happens, I'll do that. But I mean, this, you know, I'm gonna say it again. I have never owned a perfect phone from LG, HTC, from Apple, Motorola, Google now, because they're in the game. So, uh, Sony, because they have Sony phones, the Windows at the time, you know, the Windows HTC. I, I have never owned a perfect phone. There's always like some kind of bug, some type of thing that happens, but is it happening consistent, consistently, sorry. Is If it's happening consistently, then that's a big problem for me, but it's not. Sometimes I get little stupid stuff of like, why is this happening, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes closing the apps or, you know, just turn the screen off and back on or restart the phone and it goes away. I never see it again for months or I might not even see it again. So it's not really a big deal. But when I have consistent bugs where it's just something that's happening over and over and constantly every day that I'm dealing with, then that's when I like to actually say that it's a bug because glitches and stuff happen in software all the time on my Mac, a lot, on my Windows, a lot, on my tablets, a lot. It don't really matter. Dealing with software is funny and because we all use our phones differently, people get different types of bugs because like apps that people be having be causing it or you don't know or the, you got too many apps. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying like shit happen is software. So you know, you either deal with it or you don't. I don't think none of these any of this software out here is perfect right now. So other than that, the battery has been holding up. It's been, I wouldn't say it improved from the time it got better because it's already still better. Good, I mean, but it's still solid. So I still get a whole day yesterday. Well, yeah, it was yesterday I went to a party. I used uh, battery share. I, I can't remember. I think I was like at 80, 70 some percent. I don't know. And it was like 10 o'clock clock it was like no seven it was like seven o'clock it was like seven something and because that's when we went to the party and i used the power share feature to charge my fiance's phone because she was going to hang out to at the after party and she only had like 19 percent on her phone i was just like yo that's so irresponsible she didn't even charge her phone before we left the house you know knowing that she had 19 percent okay but i didn't worry about charging mine because i knew i was kind of like i had plenty of battery and I charged her phone and it did mine down to about 49% when I took it off the charger and she had about 41%. So I put her phone on power save and boom, boom, boom. And she finished her day and I went home and she hung out with her work colleagues and stuff like that and had a good time. So, you know, um, so battery has been great. So even yesterday, you know, with that, I came home with 49, about, I'll say about 40, about 43%. When I walked through the door around 11 o'clock or whatever, 
and you know, and I didn't charge my phone until I went to bed around three o'clock in the morning. So battery, like I say, battery holds up great on this phone. It's still holding up strong. I still don't have any real issues or any big major bugs. That, that bug was the only one, but man, this fingerprint reader, you know, I reported before that it was okay or whatever, but I don't know. Maybe it's cause my hands sweaty sometimes or my fingers, I don't know, but man, unlocking this phone has really become a nightmare. Sometimes I just say, fuck it and just swipe up and just put the password in because I don't feel like dealing with the fingerprint up here sometimes. So it could be me use error. Cause I, you know, sometimes I can unlock this thing with no problem. I just wish they had a face unlock. So hopefully that's coming soon on this. But other than that, the phone's been great. Um, no major, no major issues, no major bugs yet. Um, I'm still waiting some, for some feature drops, I guess that Google promised and some other things. But as always, uh, I'm going to keep it 100 with every one of you. If I have any bugs, any bad experiences or anything, I'm, I'm definitely going to report it um, to you, you know, see if anybody else is having that. Uh, I still would highly recommend this phone, but I always say, you know, keep the return window open because it seems like on the internet right now, everybody experience with the pixel is different, you know, some good, some bad over here. So I don't know what your experience may be if you was to get this phone, but it's an incredible phone. I tried putting my SIM card back into my Galaxy S21 over the weekend, today's Sunday. I put it in on Friday, went to work with it. Um, Saturday morning, I woke up, swapped the SIM right back to the Pixel. I, I, could, I couldn't do it, I, I don't know. I, I thought I was a Samsung guy, but uh, I don't know, Some something about this Pixel won my heart, something about this software and you know the exclusive features that I just can't shake, you know? And plus, I think what really pissed me off, I believe that Friday, immediately while I was at work, I got a spam call and I was like, what the fuck is this? So it kind of drove me right back to this. And I got so used to like um, texting with my voice now and not actually like that. So, you know, the Galaxy phone does okay because it's still kind of like, it's okay. You know, and on my iPhone, my iPhone is terrible when it comes to that. I literally be trying to drive and I shouldn't be doing that. I know I'd be trying to drive and, you know, do the voice thing, but What's bad about that is that I got to try to look and check to make sure that it's saying or it wrote down what I said. And that's dangerous. So I just stopped. <laughs> I just stopped doing that with any other phone. Normally, I'll take my pixel and put it right here inside my little um, holder and then I press the little microphone. Then I talk and I and I kind of I'm really more confident that it got it right. So normally I just hit send and then I could keep moving. I don't even be I pay attention to the road. Just got to take a second to hit that microphone. Boom. Then I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And then I say the word send. Boom. It sends. And I just keep on trucking and whatever like that. Now, you know, with my iPhone, I'm looking and trying to check and stuff like that being really, really dangerous and shit. So, oh, my God. Kevin Hart just retweeted my tweet. <gasps> Screenshot. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. You know, get excited about celebrity. Right? Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this video up. If I have any bugs and everything like that, I will let you know. Uh, the camera's been great still. Uh, it's still my favorite camera phone out there right now to this day. Uh, battery's been great. Uh, let's see, let's see. The screen's still, mm, mm, okay, you know, because it don't get all as bright as I wanted to get, you know. Mm, 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 and La, 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 la. Yeah, and that's it. It's, it's, yeah, that's it. That's my update. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.